Hi there, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through a flip snack demo walkthrough review so you can see what it's all about if you have a digital product or if you're just wanting to convert PDFs or books into something that is going to be a lot more interesting to your viewers, for your audience. Uh, this is definitely for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so we're just gonna really jump right into Flip Snack and show you what it's all about, the features, and why you should definitely consider it over traditional PDF style uh, digital products or content. So this is what you can expect when you first log into Flip Snack. So I'm keeping it really just uh, in line with what you will see and we can go through so you know exactly what to expect. So in a nutshell, Flip Snack is really an incredible tool that allows you to convert static PDFs into dynamic interactive flip books with stunning 3D animation effects. So whether you're a content creator, marketer, designer, or business owner, uh, this is gonna be a game changer for your digital content. So unlike a traditional PDF, for example, they provide interactivity, engaging readers with page turning features and multimedia integration. And that immersive experience closely simulates physical reading. And Flipbooks also adapts to various screen sizes, ensuring a consistent user experience on whatever device they are using. You can also track user engagement with in-depth analytics and Flipbooks Flipbooks offers advanced opportunities for branding and customization as well, making them the preferred choice already for many businesses and marketers. So you can create from scratch or upload. So let's create one from scratch and you can see straight away we can customize the layout. All right, so let's go with a booklet so we can really demonstrate the page turning functionality. And as you can see, it kind of loads up similar to um, a PowerPoint presentation if you like. Um, we have templates at the top here, so we'll just run through uh, what you can expect. So templates here, we have featured um, catalogs, brochures, presentations, uh, and you can search as well. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna create a brochure about social media. So let's see what they have. So tons of options here. Um, let's see what we can go with. Maybe this one here. And again, this opens up all the templates within that, I guess, uh, umbrella category. So let's put in the first page. And and you can edit these as much as you want. And it's as simple as that. We can add a second page. So let's say we wanna show some, we have chart content, and I guess this is graph content. Let's do a combination of the two. Put this one in there. So we have graphs, graphs on the side, an image, some information down here. So very easy to edit. Uh, not dissimilar, as I said, from really any kind of PowerPoint software. And let's preview it right now and just see what it looks like. And you can see that flipping animation. So let's add another page, something a little bit different. Uh, let's get this one here. And something unique you can add are links. So we could add links here. Um, I especially like the links that can uh, navigate through the pages. So obviously they had the arrows there that you just saw that can help you to turn the page, but you can also include buttons that will send you to the next page. So if we just drag one here, and you can tell it what to do, what page is it gonna go to. So then if we preview that, we can actually click that button and it will go to the next page. Text, obviously we can add headings and subheadings. This looks a lot like Canva, except it has uh, better layouts, I think, than Canva, but a lot of the same, I would say, fonts and sort of the similar layout there with the headings, subheadings and whatnot. Photos, you can incorporate as well. Let's just see what that looks like. Again, our theme is social media. So let's put that in there. And let's see if we can push that to the back. So you might have to do this a few times because there are a few layers there. And there we have it. Again, you can upload your own pictures. You know, that's not a problem. It's also team uploads as well. Uh, so you can give access if a lot of people are working on the same project. Video as well, not a problem. So here we have a video. So let's delete that one. Uh, and we can put a video here. And really it's as simple as just linking from your favorite YouTube video or whatever video you wanna use. And let's preview that. 
and that's the video that I attached there. Interaction as well, lots of interaction options, captions, tags, we've got embedding, we've got shopping areas, we've got social media links. So if you had a document like this, maybe it was a free course or something, uh, you could add call to actions, which is very useful. So similar to video, it would just require you to put your link up here and link to your um, payment processor. And uh, that's really, really useful. For those uh, content creators out there that have online courses or whatnot, and you, you know, provide a lead magnet with some free content with an upsell perhaps, uh, this is gonna be really useful for you. We have basic shapes here as well. Again, with some different fonts and logos and whatnot as well. And automation. So automation uh, comes with the premium option uh, you can connect your website feed for example and you just create the connections there very easily we have tables gifs so you can make these as interactive as you really want basically anything you can put on a website you can put in these books so already just massively more interactive uh, than your standard pdf charts as well different kind of charts very easy to use very easy to link up to tables so how would you share this well just go to share, give it a title, give it a description. You can um, adjust its visibility as well and just go publish. It gives you a link, copy the link, and this is what it will look like when you send it to someone. So it loads very quickly and there it is, just sort of like a magazine, essentially. Call to action there at the end. Let's see if that button works still. So you can add these on every page, and it works just the same as clicking on these arrows as well. You can also look at your pages sort of in like a contents form. So you can just skip to where you want to go and zoom in and out as well. And of course, sharing options if you want to copy the link and share it on different social media platforms. So very easy to share as well. Also, mobile responsive, of course. So let me just copy that link onto my phone and show you what it looks like. Again, it doesn't lose any of the layout. It doesn't mess up when it goes to mobile. It's exactly the same. Everything is to scale. Uh, you can zoom in. I'm now pressing on my phone, zooming in. Uh, has the same share button, you can do full screen, you can uh, look at the tiled content view like we did earlier, very easy. So anybody can view this basically on any device. Now what if you wanted to upload a PDF? Well you can do that as well, that's the option uh, we didn't go to but let's quickly see what that looks like, you just simply upload your file. So I just created a PDF using ChatGPT talking about social media marketing and I just saved it to a PDF and now I'm uploading it. Now obviously when you're uploading a PDF and trying to edit it and convert it into Flipbook, the mechanism is going to be exactly the same, you're going to be able to turn pages easily as you can see here. but. The one thing you are limited on is moving what you've already created in the Word document format, but you can still make it uh, look a lot better. You just go down to the editor here, and it's basically what we saw before, except you already have the content from your PDF. But you can, of course, um, add pages. So we can add a, um, a title page up here, and maybe just move that up so that it's first, and you know, add your title page before everything else. Uh, you can of course drag different images and everything. There are no limitations on how you can edit your existing documents. So if you want to put some images around your text, if you want to um, add video or interactions, I don't know, like your Instagram down here or something like that. Again, it's exactly the same as when we created it from scratch. You can freely add any element that you want uh, to the, your original document that you've uploaded, including automations, uh, GIFs, or whatever. You can make them completely interactive, just as we did before. So obviously I'm just playing around here, but just showing you how easy it is. It's just simple drag and drop. Uh, there are no blocks or anything that are gonna mess up your content like you might face if you're designing a website, for example. Uh, and these are just gonna come out how they did before on any device, mobile or desktop whatever, exactly the same. So let's preview this really quick. Essentially, it comes out exactly, you know, how you'd expect it or how it's saying it's gonna come out with all the interactive elements uh, working as they should. All right, so that's basically a walkthrough of Flip Snack. So if you have PDF content, uh, if you have content that you wanna show to your audiences, if you are doing marketing or presentations or anything where what you're presenting you might feel 
it could look better in that flip book format. It's gonna look a lot more professional. Me personally, I would definitely use this for digital products just to give it more of a professional feel. Um, a lot of people out there selling PDF courses or books and they just send someone a PDF. You know, you have Adobe Acrobat Reader open and it just doesn't look uh, professional with this. Everything is streamlined, everything looks good. It looks like the book, you can turn the pages. You know, it's just it just looks a lot better. Um, so I would recommend if you do want to try out Flip Snack, you can check it out for free. Just go down in the description there, and you'll see basically everything that I went through, and you can play around with it yourself. So click that link if you have any questions. Also drop them in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.